Hey, how's it going everybody? So uh, in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and do um, an installation, uh, a stereo installation. So this is a Kenwood, what was it? The KDC-BT778HD. Now, before I start, um, I just wanna go ahead and make this clear. Uh, I do not have a background in audio installation whatsoever. Um, I've never actually done a, a stereo installation in my life. So this is going to be a first. Um, I kind of already did my homework in the sense of um, basically the stereo that I already have is already a Kenwood. So I don't have to, I don't, I don't, I don't believe I have to do anything regarding kind of like the power output and all that good stuff. Um, so I guess, um, yeah, we shall see exactly how this goes. Uh, hopefully it's... Um, not too much of a bu bumpy ride, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get this started. Uh, all right, so let's go right ahead and see what we got here. Uh, so, okay, so this is, uh, I don't know if you could see it, but uh, this is my um, old Kenwood stereo, or it's gonna be my old Kenwood stereo. Uh, I mean, this one, at the time was uh, basically more than I needed. So uh, unfortunately it did not have a Bluetooth, you know, it doesn't have Alexa, it doesn't have, uh, like I said, the auxiliary port. It does have a USB port um, that basically connects to an iPod that I've uh, I've been using for the last, I wanna say maybe uh, 10 to 12 years. So uh, yeah. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do, I don't know if this is the first thing you do, but I'm going to go ahead and start here. So I'm going to go ahead and get this out, get this face plate out, and take this little plastic here. There we go. There it went, and I believe... So I got these uh, tools ready. Let's go ahead and get this thing out of here. Come on out. So here's my my current oh come on current stereo. So there's all the dirty as hell. All right, nonetheless. Um, so I mean it looks similar, you know. To let me see if I can get this out. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna unplug it. Actually, I'm going to hold off on the installation right now. Um, I'm going to go right ahead and run the the mic exactly where I want it. So I, I really don't know if I want it. I'm going to want it here, or uh, I guess put it put it down here and then just run the wire. Let's see. Uh, let me go right ahead and try to figure out exactly how I'm going to route this, and we'll continue. Let's see, is this gonna do it? Oh, beautiful. All right. So, let's see. I was actually, you know what, now that I'm looking at it, I was actually thinking on like routing it like this way. But now that I'm looking at it, I could just basically just route it straight at, from the looks of it, just straight towards that general direction. All right, well, let's try this out. Yeah, this is, this is a long mic cable, which is good, you know, more, more is better. All right, so, <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm such a dutz. <laughs> okay, all right, hold on, get this out of the way, oh, I swear. Okay, I'm over here in this side, and I'm supposed to be this side because I'm thinking oh there's there's something else here as I like, know there's nothing there <laughs> all right okay get it together over here all right come on all right so here we go all right there's there's our mic go right ahead keep on all right it does have adhesive so 
Um, I might hold off. So I'll just leave that there and I'll get all the excess cable. I'll do some cable management. Oh, that's, that's probably good, good there. There's a little twisty tie. Nice. Okay, all right, so we have everything squared away. Okay, so, oh, actually, no, we don't. We don't have everything squared away. I need to take this cable off. Oh, okay, so, uh, I got our, my Naruto little figurine without a head. All right, so here's uh, my old, oh, iP iPod. Yeah, it's all cracked. It's, I mean, for over, you know, to having it over a decade, so uh, this was a really good investment. Absolutely, a really good investment. But unfortunately, uh, times have changed, and uh, I need to replace you. So, okay. So let's see. What do you got here? There we go. Okay. So, old cable. You are done. Okay. So we got that squared away. Now is this little cage uh let's see i mean is this gonna is this the same i mean can i keep it or do i need to change it i really don't know but to see if it will i'm gonna use the old one and see if it just clamps in there yeah it does yeah so, I don't even need to change this. I could just basically slip it in there. All right, so let's get, uh, let's see, I'll do the mic first. Microphone, oh no, Mike, where are you going? Come back, buddy, come back, come back, my friend. Okay, well, you don't hang out there. Okay, so this is a subwoofer. You go in here. There we got our. St I'm thinking this is a stereo. So uh, it's connected. It's connected. Now the power. Here's the moment of truth. Will it be the same, or will I be screwed? Uh oh. It looks like it is different. It is different. Okay, so I'm gonna have to. Oh God, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do this. So, all right. So it looks like it's not gonna be as easy as I thought. Uh, how am I gonna do this? How how am I gonna do this? Okay. All right. So I got that. I'm gonna have to get this out of the way. Okay. Okay. So how in the world am I gonna be doing this? Yeah, I'm gonna, okay. <laughs> so before I do anything, Jesus. Before I do anything, let me disconnect the battery. <laughs> Oh God, please do. I hope I don't mess this up. Okay. All right, where am I? Where was I? Here I was. All right, so we're gonna do, so I guess blank and black. And... No, oh, that's right. Oh, do, 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 do. oh, wait a minute, what am I doing? I'm reading, what am I reading over here? Am I reading the Connection. I mean the connection. No, I don't want the connection. I want the connection. Okay, white and white, so that'd be the left speaker. Okay, so here we are. So that's left speaker.
I have no idea what you are. So, if I don't know what you are, um, I'm just gonna cut you right there. There's no, no, no idea what you are. No idea. Okay. All right. Time to turn this on. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we're in business. Okay, so let's see, got everything squared away there. Okay, all right, so let's cancel this, get this out. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's do this. Ready. 
Okay, so it looks like I just broke my, my car. Fucking hell, I can't believe this. All right. All right, I'm signing out. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Whew, I am sweating. Uh, all right, so as you can see, basically it's uh, nighttime right now. Uh, I've been trying to troubleshoot exactly what happened to this uh, Jeep. So um, the last thing you saw was basically the Jeep was, as soon as I turned it on, it would just basically, the, the RPMs would go right ahead and go down and then it would just shut off. Um, I'm not exactly sure what happened there. I, I, you know, like I said before, I this is my first time actually changing uh, my own uh, radio. Um, but even before I I started, I did disconnect the battery. Um, I'm not exactly sure what, what was what was going on there. So, nonetheless, I went back in there. I, you know, double checked, triple checked uh, the wires that uh, they weren't touching ground and they were connect or they were having connection. Um, I know I shouldn't have used, you know, um, duct tape, you know, just twisting them and using duct tape. I should have used something a lot better to go ahead and connect them correctly. You know, maybe like some of the, um, you know, some of the, uh, what is it, the little clips uh, that they just, you know, I'm not exactly sure what they're called. Um, but nonetheless, I mean, you know, I could have used that. I could have soldered the connections if, um, if I felt like it but I felt like it was going to be the easy way and I just basically twisted them and I used duct tape um did I pay for it yes I did I did pay for it and I learned from my mistakes um but nonetheless um you know that, that was happening to the jeep I kept on trying and trying and trying basically uh to, to get it back up and running I did uh unplug uh the battery completely left it like that for a little bit came back it, it was still doing the same thing and then all of a sudden from one moment to the other, I really don't know what it is. If you know, please leave a comment down below. But um, now it's working. So from one moment to the other, it started working. I actually thought that I burnt out the computer, um, and I was like, "Oh my god, I gotta go go to the old, you know, to a to an electric technician and, or to an auto electric technician and you know get this fixed just because of something wrong that I did." Um, but nonetheless, like I said, the car is turning on so it is turning on and I mean it's it's on idle right now which is good another thing um, the car or I should say the the stereo is working so you can see right there it is on standby so if I go right ahead and shit to HD audio it is working so I'm getting I'm getting uh, I'm getting sound nonetheless um, I just turned it off. Now, one of the things um, that I did wrong, uh, and I want to point it out right here because I know most of you probably already picked it up. You know, they're like, what are you doing with that cable? It's like, that cable has to be connected. Was uh, that blue cable that was not labeled. I did not know what it was until I was actually troubleshooting. And I'm like, okay, why isn't my subwoofer uh, working? Well, that cable was actually for the subwoofer. Uh, so, uh, I did not figure it out immediately. I actually stopped. I took a shower. I was just, you know, thinking about it. Then I went, um, well, actually before even I, I went online, I checked the fuses and all, the two fuses were good. The one that's in, or the one that's, um, on the amplifier was good. And then the other fuse that connects to, um, the positive was good as well. So I'm like, okay, that's, you know the fuses should have popped nonetheless I did some research and uh, I did find that there was a remote wire that is connected to the, the amplifier and guess what that wire was of course the blue wire so I came back out here uh, I went right ahead and you know took this apart uh, reconnected it and verified that the uh, you know amp is powering on and the subwoofer is also so um, yeah, that was an ordeal. I did not expect for me to be here. Um, what is it? What is it right now? It's probably, let's see. It is almost 1030 PM. So yeah, that was, um, a very interesting, 
conclusion to this video. Nonetheless, uh, I, I learned from my mistakes, you know. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, oh my God, I, I did not, uh, it, what is it? I, I bit off a little bit more than I could chew. So, but nonetheless, I am happy that the stereo is working, the audio is working once again. Of course, thank God, I do not have to waste more money uh, to go ahead and get this Jeep uh, fixed. I don't know if it's uh, later on, maybe down the road, uh, something might happen, but we shall find out. Anyways, we shall see you. Uh, I really do hope you enjoyed uh, all of my mistakes today. And uh, like always, we'll go ahead and catch you on the next one. Bye.